right now after flames and smoke were seen shooting into the sky at Crandon Park Marina. This happening this morning. The flames started on one yacht and quickly consumed at least five other boats. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos live now with a look at the damage force. Roy. Calvin and investigators tell us that it is still too early in this investigation to determine whether or not this was intentional or accidental. What we do know is that a total of six vessels were severely damaged, the majority of them removed from the Crandon Marina, but you can still see one of them right there with some front end damage from this intense heat. A boat on fire, bro. Cell phone video capturing the moments. Flames tear through a half dozen boats at Crandon Park Marina in Key Biscayne. In the morning, I hear an explosion. And when I look, then I took the video and so forth, seeing that the two boats were on fire. Orlando Barreto, who rents a slip at the marina, said he was tending to his boat nearby when he noticed the smoke and flames around 7 this morning. It was very intense. Uh, something like that, I mean, it's very hard to turn off because it's fiberglass on these boats. And as firefighters, let me tell you, they really came in really fast. From above in Sky 10, you could see smoke billowing as firefighters worked to put the fire out. The main hazard of firing, uh, fighting a fireboat is uh, our firefighters falling into the water. They might step into the boat that's on fire to get better access. Uh, the fiberglass can be brittle. They can step right through and get trapped under the boat. Fortunately, firefighters were able to maneuver through the charred rubble safely. It took about 45 minutes to put the flames out. Ultimately, three boats were destroyed, three others damaged by the heat. Well, if it wasn't for the fireboats, we would have had a lot of trouble. They were able to access directly to the uh, fire scene. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue telling us no one was on the boats when the fire began, and thankfully, no one was hurt. And as we come back out live to that damage, you can see right there, firefighters telling us this fire spread so quickly because of the high winds in this area. Again, fortunately, no one was injured. As for the official cause of this fire, it is still under investigation. Here on Key Biscayne, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.